everyone, welcome back. It's Tara and I'm here to do my heavily requested makeup look from my last video. It's super simple, just kind of shimmery illuminated skin with matching shimmery kind of everyday neutral eyes. It's really easy to achieve. It's great for sort of a holiday nighttime beach look. It's great for every day for work and it's just great in general if you want to sort of look healthy and glowing and all that good summery stuff that we're getting ready for. So if you'd like to know how to achieve this look then keep watching and I hope you enjoy. I'm going to quickly run down my base makeup. I'm starting with number 7 Stay Perfect Super Light Foundation which is a water based one all over the face and it is really light so I am taking it under the eyes because it has a really good brightening effect for my awful dark circles. I'm just buffing that in with the Real Techniques buffing brush. Under my eyes correcting with Bobbi Brown's Corrector in Light Peach. I'm just putting a little bit of that in the darkest spots which is the inside corner, under my eyes and a little bit on the outer corner. Quick random grooming of the brows and we're on to concealer. This is NYX HD Concealer which is a really nice match for my under eyes and gives really 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 good coverage but feels really lightweight. I also like to put it on any dimples or any shadows just to brighten them up and also around the redness around my nose which I have a little bit of and then I just like to pat it in with my ring finger all along the tops of my cheekbones and my inner eye area just to really give a highlighted effect on the top of my cheekbones and Back to my trusty um, eye primer, I guess, from Urban Decay, as well as one of many, many curling of my eyelashes. Now for my brows, I like to use, let me tell you, this Storm palette from Sleek is getting a lot of love in this tutorial, but I'm currently using it in, in my brows. I use it a lot in my brows, actually, when I can't find my MAC one. So I like to use the black, sort of slightly define the outer edge, and then the brown towards the front of the brow. And then I like to brush it out at the front of the brow, just to give an even more natural look I don't like them to look super kind of defined or anything like that now with a flat sort of shader brush or kind of slightly fluffy flat edged brush I'm dampening it with a little kind of wet wipe and then going into the shimmer champagne shade from the same sleek palette the storm one and this just really intensifies the color and makes it really easy to pack it on I'm also going to take this color slightly above the crease and blend it out with a clean fluffy brush now with my Sephora crease brush, I'm going in with Max Pro eyeshadow in Uninterrupted. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows. You can just use a bronzer as well. Bronzer will work really well. Um, and I'm just sort of packing it on to the outer corner. And once I sort of packed it on, I'm blending it through just to kind of above the crease and winging it out a little bit if you wish. This process takes me a little while just because my eyes are kind of two different sh shapes slightly. So it kind of takes me a while to even them out. But when you're done, just give a quick clean wipe with a clean blending brush and then take something like charcoal brown, which is just a mid-tone chocolatey brown. I'm also packing this on in the outer corner. Um, it's not too dark, which makes it a really nice wearable daytime smoky eye. And you just kind of push it into the crease a little bit. We don't want to define that area too much. And then from the outer corner, we're kind of dragging towards the center in a diagonal motion, but keeping it to the outer third of the eye. Uh, to brighten up the eye area today, I'm using NYX's white eye pencil. I usually use milky pink, but I just felt like going for a strong white today. And I'm taking it all the way to the inner tear duct to really brighten up the eye and sort of meet with the shimmer on the lid and just really make the eyes pop. Now, I didn't do this on the video that I first wore this eye look, but I'm using Lancome Seal Booster, which is kind of like a lash primer, which I sort of always regret using because I can't build up my mascara as much, I feel like, with it on but my favorite mascara is Shiseido's perfect mascara defining volume which I'm finding super difficult to find at the moment they keep trying to sell me this one with a different brush so let me know you guys if it's been discontinued because I will absolutely cry it is the best mascara ever if you've got lashes that you have to curl it holds curl really well um, and yeah now on to the contouring before I babble about my favorite mascara anymore I'm using Tom Ford's contour kit or um, shade and 
Illuminate and I'm taking the contour shade, warming it up with my finger, placing it a little bit on my temples and a little bit in my hollows of my cheekbones and then I'm using the same Real Techniques brush to buff that all out. This is a really easy product to work with once you get used to it. You can really buff the product till it is virtually impossible, like it just does not look like makeup anymore, which I really, really love about it and it gives a really defined but natural look. Now I'm using Cupid's Bow by Benefit just to highlight my lips a little bit and Spice Lip Liner from MAC to define my lips and even them out a wee bit but I like to pat it with my fingers to kind of soften the edge. Now with this kind of random lipstick I have which I picked up in New York it's Maybelline's Colour Whisper uh, and it's just kind of like um, a pink, baby pink shade with a little bit of peach in there and I like to kind of pat that out with my finger again so that is the look guys I really hope you enjoyed it do hit up that like or thumbs up button below to let me know that you enjoy the video and of course subscribe if you want to see more videos from me I'll see you in my next one guys as always peace